All right, we're back. A little, little update. Per standard, called the inspector. He's uh, not capable of answering his phone, calling back, showing up or anything, so that's awesome. Just about done with the inspectors on this job because they're not quite useless, pretty close to useless. Anyways, rebar's in but not tied off because it's supposed to monsoon rain tonight and I've done that before. I've tied off and dealt with that, so I'm just gonna wait to tie off. But it's all in there. It's all ready to go. This is this is part for me and part for in case the uh, prima donna inspector, and I hope that he watches this and he hears me calling it prima donna because it's super unprofessional not to answer your phone literally every time someone calls for an inspection. And it's super duper unprofessional not to call back. And you know who we are and I left my number. So like, dude, I can't imagine it's, you're just, you're swamped. I can't imagine you're swamped. Uh, there's three houses getting built in this town right now. What, anyways, enough of that rant. So we got our angles, a little fancy bend there, whatever. That's all done. Minimum 24 overlap. Some of it's more because we're just, you know, it's just the length of the steel going in. But yeah, it's supposed to rain again, so I got to deal with goddamn rain. Extra in that corner, that's good. Take it all down to here. All right, these are the pylon pier footings. Going with three by three by eight inch deep. This one's kind of integrated into like, I guess the mud room or something. I'm not even sure. Never seen so many posts in my life. But that's what that's what he wants, he wants posts. He likes to hang stuff off posts, so. Some rebar will go in there. There's one there. One there. One there. If you can envision, I guess that's kind of a car parking spot, if you will, like right here, I guess. And uh, no, the doors don't hit the post. No, the second car, the door won't hit the post, allegedly. It's in the machine. It's in the machine! He's worried about the tractor key. So I don't know if it, tell, if it shows for my voice, but I've been having a bad day with the boss because he's got some ideas about how things work that are not based in reality. I don't really want to get on that with YouTube, but like uh, a little frustrated right now. Not sure if he's having a bad day or what's going on, but like I'm just about at the peak of my abilities to maintain my composure. So this is all new down here. He's worried about the key. Like, I'm going to leave the key. This is my key, not his key. He's worried about my key. So this is new. Knocked all this corner out here. Because we got to dig holes. You kind of see I got scratched out there. I got to come up with the backhoe, dig a four-foot hole down for a footing. I think the backhoe is going to get positioned that direction. That's the because it's a scoop. Uh... There's one there. I should be able to get that in pretty square. One here and uh, one there. But according to the utility guy, he's going to come out here and trench in a power line that goes to right there. And uh, the old grandmaster wanted me to dig these holes today. And I'm like, how are you going to get a trench in here? Because these get dug, they get the footing poured, and then later they get a Sonos tube put in that comes up to grade level. So I'm pretty sure the hole is going to be bigger than that because it's a, it's a two foot wide bucket. So the minimum I can do is a two foot wide. Plus it's got to have the, the arc of the scoop to go four foot down. It's going to be a monster hole. The footing won't be that big, but the hole will be gigantic. And somehow he thinks that they're going to get a trencher in here. Like the trencher is going to be a bicycle sized machine that's just going to, I'm just like, dude, it's, that's not going to happen. That literally can't happen. The guy said he was coming to, on Friday. It's like, you need to get the wire trenched in as far away from these things, like dead center down here or bring it in over here or something. Oh man. Among other things, just, I, I think I heard the, the saying, we've been doing it this way for 50 years. And I'm thinking, oh, that's why we should keep doing it that way. It's because we've been doing it for 50 years. That actually happened today. 
And I shouldn't be airing my dirty laundry on YouTube, but man, I had just, my blood is boiling right now. Let's see how the neighbors are doing. They knocked that roof out yesterday. Nice. Knocked the siding out. That, that one's all, I think the sheetrock showed up in there. They're sheetrocking that. Plucking on trusses over here. Coming along nicely. 